To kill is not to dominate but to annihilate. It is to renounce comprehension absolutely. Murder exercises a power over what escapes power. Emmanuel Living Us. Otherness does not behave appropriately in my world. Otherness does not think as I think. It does not hold the same values and cultural norms. It evades my control and introduces anarchy into my ordered little world. In one culture, the young child is expected to look down to the ground, avoiding eye contact with an adult who gives correction. To look into the eyes of the elder is to stubbornly and arrogantly challenge. To look down is to show respect. In another culture, the parent may shout, look at me when I talk to you, and the child may be punished for avoiding eye contact, the assumption being that not looking means rebellious inattention. Strangely, though these cultural differences are infinitely distant from one another in praxis and worldview, they may be as geographically close as crossing the border from Tijuana to San Diego or traveling to a nearby Native American reservation from your predominantly white American city. Annihilating cultural norms, which are foreign and uncontrollable within my own culture, is an act of killing. It is an attack upon the face of difference with the goal of eliminating, assassinating that difference. A conquering culture dominates through the enforcement of sameness. The elimination of differences in the conquered culture is the final expression of domination, and language is the primary target of the conqueror. Alexander the Great created a Greek-speaking world in his conquests. Aborig Aboriginal Australian languages once numbered well over 300, and with the onslaught of British colonialism, only about 50 languages survive today, and those are rapidly dying. Among Native American language, Navajo is the strongest, but there are less than 150,000 speakers. That represents 50% of the people still speaking the disappearing tongues of North America. For centuries, the British tried to exterminate the Welsh language, and the French brutally suppressed Breton, but these Celtic languages have stubbornly survived nonetheless. Language represents the other we cannot understand. Walking into a room filled with people speaking another language, we are intimidated. Are they talking about me? Are they laughing at me? Are they making plans against me which I cannot prepare for? Another language represents that impenetrable wall I cannot see or hear through. It is a power ambivalent to and ungovernable by my desires and demands. It is something to be feared and consequently to be conquered. If I can kill that other language, I kill the intimidating and uncontrollable threat of otherness and reinstate the safety of sameness found in my little monoglot world. That monoglot world does not whisper about me from the dark corners, tables of the pub. It is controllable because I can demand and intimidate in a world that speaks my language and no other. This historic conqueror's destruction of culture through the annihilation of a language represents the dark intentions we all hold against cultural variations we do not understand, do not trust, do not like. By demanding sameness, we murder, murder otherness and exercise power over what escapes power. Yeah, yeah, yeah.